At night, when the other engines are tucked away in their sheds, you can still hear the faraway call of an engine's whistle and the clickety-clack of train wheels turning. This is the sound of the mail train. One train is pulled by Thomas and the other by Percy, as the loads are too heavy for one engine to do the work alone. The mail is loaded into freight cars at the harbors, and the engines pull their trains through the silent stations delivering their precious loads. On a clear night, a big shiny moon brightens their journey, but often Thomas and Percy can't even see the stars. But whatever the weather, lamps along the track always light their way. That night, everything ran like clockwork. Thomas and Percy steamed through the stations, making good time everywhere they went. At a station, Thomas noticed a man looking cold and worried. He had missed his train home. We can give you a ride, said Thomas's driver, but it will be rather uncomfortable. Thank you, said the man. Anything's better than sitting here. That night, Sir Topham Hatch showed the two engines a letter. It was from the man who missed his train. He thinks you are both splendid, and everyone says that the mail train is the pride of the line.